please note that I did not purposely did not want you to start from the left hand side I wanted you to focus first on the right hand side buttons as they come all in the sequence uh, when it comes to transition from the left hand side to the right hand side there is a irregularity uh, basically it's not push pull as you can see basically if you go from C, D, E, F, G, A I'm expanding A B is also expanding so basically from A to B I'm going from expanding to expanding and to go to C I'm going to basically squeezing the squeeze box or concertina so that's another irregularity that's why it's I prefer that you start from finding your melody on uh, basically first six buttons that allow you 11 notes uh, without the skip of the uh, fourth button. Closing your eyes when you play concertina. Um, I haven't heard anybody mentioning about it, but I find it absolutely amazing. I was always puzzled why vision impaired musicians achieved such outstanding results. And I believe that their brain can focus better on music because all reception comes from the hearing and vision is just a distraction. This is why when I play concertina I often close my eyes uh, and it really helps, helps me focus. Musical interpretation. The beauty of you playing the music from hearing your brain memory is that it is much easier to spontaneously improvise or alter the melody. I sometimes find myself venturing from one melody to another when melodies are uh, cousins or correlated or share similar musical patterns. The tune I would like to start this uh, lesson is very popular in uh, Europe and is actually sung by children in uh, Germany, in France and in Poland and I think in England as well. It's called either uh, Meister uh, or Mr. Jakob uh, or Meister Jakob or uh, uh, Frede Jacke or in Poland uh, Pani Janie. simplifying it I'm using B note instead of G note which is in original tune so I will be still using the right hand side of the concertina basically used only four buttons I used first second and third and the lower buttons I will do it one more time slowly original with the G note on the other side. Uh, the next tune is actually very popular and uh, any kid in America know this tune. It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and in Poland it's known as trzy kurki or three hands. And 
and I'm using exactly the same four buttons which I used in Frere Jacques. So one more time, slowly. you can actually do with the tune uh, you know after you know you, you you know the basic tune you can add actually variations to the tune Okay, after those two children tunes that pretty much everybody in the world knows, let's move to some our well-known uh, maritime songs. And the one that is one of the easiest to play is actually Bully in the Alley. As you learn and progress, you can add extra buttons to any melody. And this time, you know, after playing this bully in the alley on just first three upper buttons on my right hand side, you know, we can add an additional note from, from the other side, which will be like this. enjoying it and it's all about having fun. Let's pick up the next uh, very popular sailing tune and it's not only popular in sailing community but it's also in a drinking community so it probably was very often sung and uh, uh, probably there's no song that has hundreds of verses like uh, what shall we do with a drunken sailor in, a, in Polish because even one of the verses says you know it's just after another drink you basically add more verses. <laughs> 